Paul Wright has become one of my best friends and has truly shown me um, an example of Christ. Uh, I lived with him the last two years, and he's a great guy. So welcome, Carl. I'm a junior, um, I'm majoring in Spanish and philosophy theology, um, and uh, I'm actually, I'm a RA in Hendrix, I'm saying so. Um, okay, and so, um, actually there's, I have to apologize before I even start, um, which, and so I, <laughs> a lot of you, I think, probably heard I was coming and thought, or I was talking and they were like, oh great, like, one of Carl's like crazy stories from one time he was naked and was supposed to be here, or, or one time when he like pooped his pants or something. Um, and and I, I'm sorry because I, I can't, I'm not going to deliver any of that tonight. Um, I, I learned, my, last year I was an intern at, at First Church with the Junior High Youth Group, and um, I like, that was my mindset. I was like, oh, let's tell a funny story about how I pooped my pants one time. And so like with these junior hires, I like walked and I was like, I'm gonna make them like me, I'm gonna tell the story. Um, and so like I told I told this like story that I thought was just hilarious. And um, and then like I looked up to like as I was telling the story and there was just horror over all of it. <laughs> 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 and I was just like, oh, never again, never again. But um, that being said, for those of you that are really curious, afterwards I'll just be over here. Um, um, okay. So kind of as I was thinking about this. Um, I, th I was reflecting a lot on, I went to, this last summer I went um, on a lover trip to Peru, um, and like the first, and there was this guy there, and his name was Hermano Claudio, and he, um, I guess for like the first week we were in Lima, the capital, and we were like working at different churches, painting, um, just hanging out, going to like church services, and like Claudio was the, he was at um, the third church that we went at, which was like the poorest one, um, and um, we, we like got there, and um, we were talking to Pastor David, who was um, like this super, he's like 25 maybe, super talented guy, actually spoke like pretty good English. Um, so he was like talking to us, whatever, um, was super amped, like talking about how we were answered prayer being there. And then like we got, we got, like worked the, during the day, and then at night, um, we like, they had this service, and um, and the Pastor David, he's like super talented, super good at piano, like all this stuff, and so he, he's like, I got a special song I prepared for you guys, whatever, so we're there, and like the church people were there. Um, and so David like killed it on this song that he has like a special beat already made up for and like all this stuff um, And then like church service keeps going on and he's like and he's like now um, Hermano Claudio has a song prepared for you guys um, <laughs> And it like so the guy was like super quiet. He didn't say a word to like any of us. It was probably because he did, didn't think he spoke Spanish because most of us didn't um, and And he walks up like super quiet just and stands in the corner like not even in front of everyone He just walks up and stands in the corner and like and just started singing a song, like no musical accompaniment, just started singing. Um, and from what I could tell, um, it seemed like he was just kind of making it up on the spot. Um, but, but like at the same time, it was coming from it was coming from a very deep, deep part, um, place in his heart. And like as he was singing, um, like you like you noticed, like he was getting choked up, and like you could see tears coming in his eyes. And um, I was thinking about that and what I was hoping would come, like for you guys out of this night, like what you get out of it. Um, and I think in my kind of stuttering, lots of ums way, I hope that some way this kind of talk mimics what I'm going to do that night and that like he, um, you know, just took what he had and then and just presented it and you could see it as something that glorified God. Um, and with that in mind, uh, let's pray before I get to the start. Father God, um, I thank you for tonight, uh, for this opportunity. Um, I just pray that you give me your best and uh, help us get what we need out of Oh, tonight. Uh, Jesus, amen. Okay, so um, tonight I would like to talk to you guys about confession. And um, for those of you that are nervous right now, I don't mean confession like, um, like oh, I really, I'm a 21 year old male and like I really like Hannah Montana Blake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, what I'm talking about is a confession. 
I want to use the confession and faith of faith in Jesus Christ and his resurrection and what God did through that and the salvation that we have through that. Um, and so, like, trying to think of examples to kind of just get it started off before we, like, look in the scripture. Um, I thought of what, like, maybe what my confession of faith would, would, like, read like or what I'd say. Like, and I think it's something like this um, from what I thought of at one in the morning last night. Um, I believe that God, the creator of the universe, sent his only son to live amongst man to suffer and die on the cross and be resurrected on the third day, and that through this resurrection my sins are forgiven and salvation is possible. I believe that through the work of the Holy Spirit I can live in this salvation and, and participate in the coming kingdom even as I await its arrival. Um, another example of one of those like, early statements of Christian, of Christian faith um, or confession is the, uh, is the Apostles' Creed, which is, goes something like this. Um, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Church of Jesus Christ, the communion of saints, and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Um, so those are two like verbal like proclamations that he's like, or say they're talking. Um, and then two kind of, like in the Christian, Christian tradition, that two kind of like symbols that we have of a confession of faith in this resurrection um, that I was thinking about, that I was thinking about tonight, um, are baptism and communion of the Eucharist. Um, and baptism is pretty much the most tangible way of this, right? Maybe the most symbolic way that we have of participating in the crucifixion of Jesus as we, as you get baptized. Um, and I mean, in lots of some churches, they do it on Easter to signify the like that you're rising again as you die to sin and are made alive in Christ. Um, and let's see, yeah, but baptism is how you like really participate in that resurrection. And then communion um, is kind of a way that, on a more regular basis, that we can we can remember that um, and we can remember Jesus' suffering and be drawn into participation in it. Um, and that in eating. Eating of the bread and drinking of the cup, you're saying, like you're participating in Jesus' suffering and death and saying that it's something that you're taking seriously. Um, so I think, I think in our lives, this act of confessing a belief in God, um, it kind of manifests itself in two ways. Um, kind of, like I said, in speaking, like what the Apostle Creed wanted to say, um, and then with these kind of actions that we can do, which is baptism and um, communion are two of them, and then pretty much just the way you generally live your life. Um, and so, uh, and I think, I think the thing about these is we kind of get amped on Christianity, don't understand just how serious of a, of a confession it is. And I don't think it's easy to live up to either confessions. Um, and it's something that I've kind of struggled with. And so um, here's kind of, I guess, where, where I've come from being to where I'm now, to the point where I can stand in front of you and say, I believe that Jesus Christ is resurrected. Um, <coughs> and that it's changed my life. Um, I like, my parents are both pastors, my dad teaches here, as all you know. Um, and and I kind of always grew up like a pastor's kid mold or whatever. Like, uh, <laughs> I was homeschooled up till high school, so like, whatever, no big deal there. Um, <laughs> so, and then like got to high school, and then it was like Christian Carl, and everyone was like, oh, Carl was a Christian, like all this stuff. And it was just kind of like pigeonholed in that. And like, yeah, sure, it was a good kid or whatever. But um, it didn't like, I don't think it really draw, drew a lot of interactions in my life that, that a real tangible confession of Christ would have drawn, you know, in a place where you're like in a public school. Um, and so I got, I got to the point where like, I had dreams of kind of point when since I was like eight years older. Um, and I got to the point when I was like super amped and I like, went through my first year here, um, loved it and kind of came, came to realize like what it means to confess that you believe in Jesus Christ and the resurrection of the dead of God. Um, and then like the summer, the summer after my freshman year, I was Valley Parking working with a guy named Daniel. And um, me and Daniel, like, we spent an ungodly amount of hours together. Um, and so, like, we just talked about everything. And then one day he was, um, he, asked, he started asking me about, like, God questions, all that stuff. And, like, I was super, super hesitant. Um, and, he, and he thought that I was, like, hesitant because I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I believe in God, like, all this stuff, I'm a Christian. And then, like, that, that I expected him to be like, oh, stupid Christian, like, all this stuff. But so he was like, no, you don't worry about it. Like, it's cool if you're a Christian. And I was like, no, I just realized it's kind of a heavy thing to say. Um, 